Are you thinking about freelancing and web development or are you already freelancing? Well, I've got six tips in this video that will help you. If you really want to set yourself up for success, check this out. This video is sponsored by the complete freelancing bundle on studywebdevelopment.com, which gives you everything you need to start earning side income by freelancing. Whether you're a web developer or web designer, you'll have everything that you need to take control of your life. The bundle includes two eBooks, Freelancing and Beyond, as well as Web Design and Beyond. You'll get website templates, proposal and invoicing templates, a website checklist, access to Facebook and Slack communities, lifetime updates, and much more. Check out the link in the description and use the code STACK25 to get 25% off today. The first tip is to build an online portfolio. And this might seem very basic and obvious, but your portfolio is your resume. And your portfolio should show off your best work. Don't clutter it with too many projects, just pick the best ones. Most likely no one's going to look past the first two or three. Here are some things that you should include in your portfolio. A custom domain name. The random name from Netlify won't work. Buy a custom domain name that is easy to remember and looks professional. But make sure that your site looks professional as well. That's kind of a given. If you're selling your services as a web developer or designer, your personal site needs to look good. But at the same time, don't go overboard. Just keep it simple and professional. Including a picture of yourself will help to create a personal connection with your potential clients. Lastly, include links to your GitHub and CodePen profiles and also a contact form so that it's easy to contact you. Work for free or cheap at first. You need to develop a reputation, but it's kind of a catch-22 if you're just starting out. You don't have a reputation. So when you're just starting, you may need to charge lower fees just to get some projects under your belt. Now, it may be free or cheap monetarily, but you will be doing the work in exchange for experience and an honest review or testimonial. Be sure to include in the contract what you expect to receive after the job is complete. You could contact startups to see if they need some simple landing pages, or check with local community organizations to find a charity project. Writing blog posts is a great way to gain authority in your field. Now, you don't need to go set up your own blog website. For web development specifically, you could write for Dev2, Medium, or Hashnode, these are great communities that will help to get your article in front of a larger audience. Now, by doing this, potential customers can see that you know what you're talking about. You could include links to your online portfolio. And many times you'll find clients that were just looking for a simple update to their site, and then that could lead into larger projects. Contributing to open source projects is another way to gain authority in a field. There are some developers that have too much work and they'll hire out portions of a project. Working on open source projects can put you on their radar. And this is the perfect month to begin contributing to open source with Hacktoberfest happening the entire month of October. And you can check out my video over here somewhere for more information on that. Also, Eddie has great content on open source as well, so go check out his videos. Be selective with which clients you take on. Don't say yes to everything. Make sure that the client's budget is in line with what you need to charge. Make sure that the client's expectations are in line with yours. There's nothing wrong with saying no. If the client wants you to build the next Twitter for $1,000, you have to say no. A good contract will protect you from scope creep. Scope creep is when you've agreed to do X, Y, and Z for a client, but then they come back and say that they want A through Z. And that's when you can refer them to the contract and explain that these extra services were not included but you can complete these additional services for an extra fee. Then you would create a new contract to incorporate these changes. If you wanna learn more about contracts, check the link in the description below for the complete freelancing bundle, which includes the contracts and everything that you need to know. You're going to be competing with many other developers and some of them will be charging much less than you and you might think that you need to match those prices. That's actually not the case. Even though you may be providing the same services, you need to communicate clearly why your solution is better. How will it benefit your client? You need to be confident in your skills and what you're offering. It's important to convince your client that you are an expert and how you're going to be able to help them improve their business. 
Now try to be as specific as possible. Will they gain more customers or increase their conversion rates or maybe reduce monthly expenses? Prove your worth. Now remember that they're not paying you for your time, they're paying you for your expertise. You may be paid $1,000 for a project that takes you two hours to complete, and then another developer may be paid at the same rate for the same project, but it takes them five hours to complete. Just because you're faster doesn't mean that you should charge less. In fact, it means that you can charge more. If you want to become a freelancer or just get better at it, the best resource is the complete freelancing bundle at studywebdevelopment.com. Whether you're a web developer or web designer, you'll have everything that you need to take control of your life. The bundle includes two ebooks, Freelancing and Beyond, as well as Web Design and Beyond. You'll get website templates, proposal and invoicing templates, a website checklist, access to Facebook and Slack communities, lifetime updates, and much more. Check out the link in the description and use the code STACK25 to get 25% off today. That's going to be it for this video. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.